So many painful unanswered questions about the murder almost two years ago of a young Jacksonville hairstylist. The mother of 31-year-old Brittany Matthews told News 4 Jax her daughter was shot and killed at a gas station off Edgewood Avenue in August of 2020. We want closure. And if you can say something, please, just say something. You know, we deserve justice for Brittany. No arrests have been made. No suspect information has been released by police. News for Jack's anchor and reporter Corley Peel is joining us from Durkeyville, where the memory of Brittany Matthews is honored with artwork. Corley. We're here off Myrtle Avenue where you can see a mural of Brittany Matthews is now painted on this wall. Her mother tells me it's been hard the past several months not knowing who killed her daughter, but she believes she was targeted. A large picture in the living room and a bumblebee necklace around Frida Matthews' neck is all she has left of her daughter, 31-year-old Brittany Matthews. So we called her B. I called her Lady B, but B is the name that she grew up with. The beloved hairstylist and mother of one was murdered in August 2020. All these 21 months is, is not the same. It's, it's terrible. You know, nothing is the same anymore. Her mother says Matthews was on her way to her sister's house when she stopped the Shell gas station off Edgewood Avenue around 9 a.m. According to JSO, the gunman seen in this photo pulled up in a silver Nissan Rogue, gone out and fired several shots into the car Matthews was sitting in, then drove off. The car was eventually found. The lead of the vehicle, um, that was... Um, they found it, but it wasn't related to the person who owned it because the killer actually stole the vehicle. JSO released these photos of a man and a woman who were considered persons of interest. Matthews told her sister she was being harassed a few months leading up to her death. Her mother, not sure of the circumstances, but believes her daughter was targeted. Do you have any idea who would do this to your daughter? No, because Brittany didn't live that life. Like Brittany was like the life of the party. Everywhere she went, like, she was jolly, you know. She loved going out and having fun, you know, with her sister. Matthew says her daughter had a smile she could never forget. Although memorabilia are all she has left, she's not giving up on justice. Frida Matthews says it's also been hard because her daughter's son has been growing up without his mother. She's now urging everyone, anybody that has any information about her murder, to please come forward. And you can remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers or JSO. Reporting live from Durkeyville, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.